Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Today is Daf Nun. Zach is getting prepared. So we left off yesterday. The bottom line of Memtes and Beis. So Itamar, Arev Diksuva. You have somebody who is a Arev, a cosigner, a Diksuva. Divrei Akol Amishdavid. Everyone agrees. That person is not Mishnahit himself. He's asked to sign on, but um, as we'll soon see, there'll be different spheres. It's not really his, someone else is getting married, right? There's not necessarily going to be a loss to the woman. We just want to the woman. So he's just trying to like help out. So he's not really Mishnahit himself. And also, Kablan the Balchayv. And also, someone who's a Kablan who basically accepts for themselves even a, another level more than a, um, an Arif. A cabin of a balchov of a loan, he does obligate himself. The question is, Arev the balchov, the cabin the ksuva, please. An Arev, a just a co-signer of a uh, of a loan, and a cabin, a person who accepts upon himself responsibility for a ksuva, please. So one opinion holds that even though that the borrower or the husband. Uh, you know, does not have any money. Nevertheless, that person is Mishtabit himself. If he had money, then okay, he would uh, sign with it. But if he didn't have money, then he wouldn't even be an already of a co-signer to something. Even though the person does not have money, either the husband or the borrower does not have money, except for a co-signer of Iksuba, the Alpha God, the Islay, that even though he might uh, uh, have a few bucks, Loy Mishtabit, the, the, the co signer of Aksuba is not uh, Mishtabit himself. Why? My time up. Because he's just trying to help out do a mitzvah, have her get married. And the Mai says she's not, there's no law to her in a case of a loan. So a person actually lent money and he wants to get money back. So he wants to be made whole. But a, but a woman to get paid her Aksuba. It's not to repay a loss. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the person was not Mishtabit himself. No, I mean, it wasn't like she put money in, she's trying to get her money back. She's just, you know, yes, she gets, she's in a nice position or she gets supported. Other Ravina, Tashma, come and listen. In the beginning, this like Nina, yes, I mean, in the beginning, we have Takana, yes, Masha, Isha, right, so we say, right, Isha, right, so we say. More than a man wants to get married, a woman wants to get married. So therefore, that is a svara, a logical argument to say that she can go ahead and, and collect from inferior land. And if you're saying that that which we said, that the ksub is only, that from, when it's zibaris, it's only from the asaimim, it shouldn't be the svara is that a woman will get married anyways. This should be, I should be It's because of the asaimim. That's why you collect zibaris, not because of the woman's logic. So Tirta, the Marzutra Tirta. So it's the Kashan Marzutra who said that um, you know it was all, when, only the assignment you cut from Zibaris, but from uh, you know from the husband himself, then he would pay Bainanus. So it's a Kasha on the on, on Marzutra. And Ama Marzutra Bereid of Nachum Shid of Nachman, Star Khaif Hayat Ali Assignment. Let's say there is a Star Khaif on the assignment, but Alpha Bisha Kasaba Sheva. Even though it says the loan document says from the choicest lands, it's written specifically in the document. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, and it's collected from the assignment, it only goes from the Zibaris, the inferior land. And Amr Abaye says, the Balchayv Dine Bebenin, it's really a Balchayv. Very much, thank you. So even though the Allah by a Balchayv is Dine Bebenin, and I was a person, a creditor, if he's not paid back cash and he was seizing land, really. Midaraisa, the halacha is average lands. And if he's collected from the assignment because the father, the the the, the bower died, because in the, from the assignment, zibaris. So I'm a rabbi. How can you understand? Bal chayiv dinim midaraisa, zibaris. When it comes to bal chayiv, really, mm-hmm. it's inferior lands. It's zibaris, the lowest lands, not beinus. Mm-hmm. Why is that kedula? Really, about It says over there, a person will bring out the collateral. Wait outside, and he will bring out the collateral. What does a person bring outside? He doesn't bring his nice, uh, you know, uh, furniture. You know, his nice living room furniture. Rather, he brings 
in our uh, patio furniture, right? Pachel Shabbat Kalim. You know, it was Ramat, right? In other words, and therefore, so that which you pay back sounds like the Pachel Shabbat Kalim, the inferior quality stuff, inferior quality land. So Balchav Midoraisa is the lowest lands. But what's the reason why the Rabbanon say, hey, let's make a takana that when you repay, if you need to seize land, you can seize middle land and not the inferior land. In order that because the people know that they're not going to get paid back, but only with the worst lands, the person doesn't have cash, then they're not they're going to stop giving loans. So therefore they say, you know what? Forget the Zibaris, zibar, let's go to Benus. Mm -hmm. Right, so the Gabi Yasmi, right? We got when it comes to Yisraelim, Bukbe Rabbana, the Raisa. So, therefore, the Rabbana say, you know what? When it comes to playing the Balchab, since really make our din with the Raisa and Zibaris, we'll leave it at Zibaris. There's no Takana. We're not going to have that Tikkun Oilam Takana on, uh, uh, on behalf of the orphans. So, Allah came in the Dina with the Raisa, but eat this. I understand. But in the case of, let's say, in this case, within his derisa, i.e. in the star, it says, I will pay you back with the best lands. I feel me ask me not to be this. They should go ahead and collect in this. In other words, your whole thing was, oh, in that case, the reason why you take the lowest lands is because it's you, you leave it on the derisa. But over here, if in the derisa, you can go ahead and collect the best lands because that's what's in the document. So they should be there from the Israel also. I Lurava, Vatani, but according to Rava, Vatani Abu Kuzai, any from Nexis and Elmin Zibaris. Why we only go ahead and collect from the Chasan of the same from Zibaris, Vafilo Hain, Nizik, and even if it's damages, or one of the damaged property that he died, so they collect it for the damages, you go to the kids. I understand. Midderaisa, he's saying, when it comes to you, so you are established under Raisa, Midderaisa, by damages, it's you pay the Indus, the best lands. So it's over here. Rava, Nizak, it didn't Midderaisa be this. So, so why over here, when it comes to this case, for the case of Shevach, so you could establish the derisa and even collect from the orphans, Edis. So, the Maskin and Kigan Shaisa, Edis, the Nizak, Kiziboros, the Mazik. That it was a poor person who got damaged, and therefore it was a rich person. Uh, and his lowly lands were equal to the best lands of the damaged Eve. Hmm. Rabbi Shmeli, it's a Rabbi Shmeli, the Amar. Midaraisa, but the Nizak Shaymin. Really, Midaraisa, we go by the Nizak, right? The one who was damaged. And therefore, he can go ahead and pay his Zibaris. Shaymin, we pay, take an Ilam, take an Rabbanam, but the Masik. And therefore, because take an Ilam, we said the Masik. The Gabi Yasin, who comes to the Assignment, Ukme Rabbana, the Raisa, they'll leave it on the Raisa in this case, which would be by the Nizak, which would be the Zibaris by the Masik. So, Aini, is this the case? Vatani, Rabbi Eliezer, Nifta, Aini, Nifrai, Menechte, Yisavim, Elamina, Zibaris. So, Eliezer and Nifta taught that we only go ahead and collect the Yisavim from Zibaris. Vafilu, hey, Edis. Even if they are Edis. What does that mean? Right? Ma'ya, Filu, hey, Edis. Lav, Afagad, the Chsiv, Edis, Bishtara. Does it not mean that it knows Edis is written in the Shtar? And this is our case. Our case is, let's say the guy says, I'll lend you money, but when you pay me back, you got to pay me back a choice of stance if you don't pay me cash. Mm -hmm. So over here, in this case, we're saying, even in this case where he writes it, he should only go ahead and collect the bonus. So the says, no, no, that's not the case. My Edis, what does it mean? Edis, so it's Shafa uh, Edis, right? It means that basically lands that he had that are sort of lost. Either they were seized by uh, you know, a bunch of, by, by a gang, or they were ruined of some sort, that even though he still uh, technically owns the land. So therefore that land is, is, is good land, but the land is really unavailable at the moment. So so in this case, if he has that land, he can just say, hey, I don't have that, take Ziboris. And the Rabbah, Rava, hey, Zik Ziboris. Government edis. Um, if he damages even the zibaris, then he collects uh, edis. However, shafai edis. But however, if the land uh, basically was uh, unavailable, then gaiva mina beinus. Then he goes out and collects the beinus. Gabi yasme. And when it comes to the yisaimim, ukme rabana deraisa. Therefore, establishing the deraisa that they only pay zibaris uh, and not uh, uh, anything else. So therefore, in this case. That's why from the side, mm -hmm. even if it's written on there, you, can go, you should be forced to go ahead and only collect Zibaris and not anything else. Fine. Two dots. Uh, I don't know, like uh, 11 lines on the bottom. 
All right. So, person does not pay uh, for, for the Yisamim, only Zibaris. That which we say, Yisamim, is it Ketanim? Is it only Yisamim orphans, like an orphan is uh, up, in, uh, up until Bar Mitzvah, right? Or even a person is an orphan and he's 25. So do he say? I can ask. Say he. David Rabban and Gavi asked me the time of the Rabban. Look at the Rabban. Do we say that maybe it's that kind of because when it comes, let's say you want to do business to collect, so the orphans can't do their own business, right? They're not uh, bardas, right? And therefore they can't really be, you know, get involved. So therefore, you can only collect sibaris. But when it comes to gedolim, so they're old enough to do uh, transactions. I do more b'shuv leim asik gedai to denova. Because maybe the lender never thought that the borrower is going to die. Therefore, you know, it will go to the assignment. The Havile, no, does, does. Because if he would have thought that perhaps he's going to die, then he says, you know what, uh, maybe I'm not going to go ahead and lend him money because I don't want to go ahead and, you know, be, um, you know, uh, and only collect the borrowers. So therefore, in this case, since it doesn't cross that person's mind, Right, which is he's making the loan because if it crosses his mind, then he wouldn't have made the loan. Since it doesn't cross his mind at all, so therefore, even the gedolim, the knows the takana, will be for everybody. It wouldn't prevent anybody. Uh, uh, it, it wouldn't prevent anyone from lending money. So therefore, maybe the takana is when it says you sign him, it's referring to anybody who was a child of the uh, uh, of mm-hmm. the borrower. So Toshma, come listen to Tanya, Abba Kashisha. So Abba said, Abayi, Abayi, Abayi Kashisha says, says the same Shemro Gedolim and Tzikla Maikatan. The same that we're talking about is adult Gedolim. Excuse me, adult, adult Yisaimim, and culture gain, and certainly uh, minors, right? That you only go ahead and collect Tziburis. So the Dilmas Gemara says, a honey million and Shavua. Right, maybe this is, means by a shvua because one goes ahead and collects from the orphans. He makes a shvua that I did not go ahead and collect anything else until now. So maybe that which we said that to the the, the gedolim are including a son, it only means to make the shvua. But when it comes to the lands, maybe it can be more than the zibaris. So God says, so the mile the dummy that any adult, even though he's an adult, he's like a minor when it comes to his father's affairs. He has no idea. So there, of course he has to make a shwa. Well, in Zibaris, when it comes to Zibaris, low. But in Zibaris, maybe it could be that uh, if the guy is you know over the age of uh, 13, he's right. considered to be a gadol, then he would not only pay from, from Zibaris, he could even pay from Bainanis or others. The Hilchasan Allah is Yisaimim Sh on the Yashama. That when we say Yisayim, refers to all Yisayim, anybody who is the son of the deceased, Bay and the Shua, whether it comes to collecting and the person collecting has to make an oath, right? He makes a Shua to either their Katanim or Gedolim in order to go out and collect. And also Bay and the Ziburis, that if he's collecting land, then he only collects uh, the low, the inferior land and not any other lands. Fine. Uh, second line on the top, no, no, my base. Uh, so we say, We do not go ahead and collect any from the chasim b'shubadim in the place of b'nei charim. So now, what does this mean? So let's say I have land. So if someone's Alan is going ahead and collect uh, from me, so I, so I, uh, so you go ahead and you collect from my available lands. Mm-hmm. Now let's say I sold a land to Zevi. Let's say you gave me the money January first. Mm-hmm. And then I and I had all this land, and I sold a parcel to Zevi. Said I got a nice uh, parcel of Israel and you know, Kira Shmona or whatever he's going. Karni Shamron, Karni Shamron, yeah, and Karni Shamron. And I sold the land, and all of a sudden, I wants to collect. And so Zayan says, "I'll take the land and Karni Shamron." So I said, well, you, I, "You know, sold it. Too bad. No, whatever is the, any available lands. Those are called Bnei Chayyim. Any available lands." You have to go ahead and take, and you can't go ahead and take, go to Zevi and say, hey, I'm taking this land, and you deal with Yoam. So any friend of the Shabbatim, the Makom Shesh Bechan, if there's available lands, the available lands. So, boy, Rav, Rav, Achdu, boy, Barami, Matana, hey, what about if I gave it away as a, as a Matana? In other words, I gave Zevi the land as a gift. 
Thank you for running the IT departments or being a partner in the IT department for the uh, for the Dafyomishir. And here is the parcel of land. Now, Takanasu, huh? I said partly, yeah. So he said, Takanasu, Dalvi Rabban, Mishub Seder Lekaychas. What's the reason why we say you can't take land that is Mishubadim, as now, you know, that Zevi has, right? Is it because of buyers that if Zevi bought the land and it was taken away, no one would buy land anymore. So therefore, we'll say, you know what? If you buy it, there's other lands. Zevi knows if he buys land for me and I have other lands, he's not worried he'll be taken away because I have other lands. So if is it because of the takanas who the avir rabban and mishum say the lekeichas for the loss of the buyers? The ratana like up say the lekeichas low. But in this case of me giving a gift to Zevi, there is no loss to him. So even if it gets taken away, who cares? And therefore, maybe when it comes to matana, Alan could go ahead and seize the land. A dilma matana nami. Even Matana, it really, Zevi should be collecting something. Why? Right? If it wasn't for the fact that Zevi did such an outstanding job, right, loading up the Zoom and resending the link to the WhatsApp chat, I would never have bought them this parcel of land. So now there is a loss to Zevi, and therefore maybe that Takana should work that if something was given even as a gift, you can't touch that land, you can only go ahead and take my Berechar. He also may have worked well, we're not talking about working land. We're just talking about seizing land. That that will, will come to later on in terms of the shavach. You know, that was the mention in the Mishnah in terms of collecting losses. Now, the hillcock therefore keeps seated. The lekach is done. Therefore, it's like similar to like a loss to the buyer to Zeb. So, Amar Leimar Kashisha Berei the Rav Chiz the Rav Ashi. So, Tashma, come listen. Shchimir Roshama Tenumasayim Zeus. You have a person on his deathbed, and he says, "Tenu Masayim Zeus Leponi, the Gimel Meos." Leploni, a dal mes leploni. The guy got his deathbed. He says, "Give Avram two hundred dollars. Give Yitzchak three hundred dollars. And give Yaakov four hundred dollars." Okay. Ein Aimrim kol akayin b'shtar zacha. And uh, we don't say whoever is in the whoever was in order first. And it was Avram gets first. First he gets his two. And the other one gets three. And the other one gets four. Lefichach. Uh, so in other words. Let's say I only had five. So, it, it, so anything that's given out is really given out proportionally of two, three, four, mm -hmm. right? Not that if there's only, let's say, $400 left. So we don't say the first guy gets $200. The second guy gets 200 of his 300. And the third guy gets nothing. Rather, it's proportional. And, and therefore, the that came for the person. The person, once again, collects the debt uh, uh, proportionally to the three to the, to the three positions. Because why? Because there's no way to say three things at one time. Give Avram 200, you can't say three, there has to be an order. A vow, but if Amram give 200 bucks to Avram, the Acharav, and after you give him Leploni, and then give Yitzchak, the Acharav, Leploni, then give Yaakov, Amram, Whoever comes first, then there is an order. If there's only $225, we don't say split it proportionally. We say the first guy gets $200, second guy gets just $25 out of $300, and the third guy, uh, good luck, Charlie, right? Lafichach, therefore, Yatzalav Shtarchov. If there's a Shtarchov that comes to collect, Gaiva Mina Achron, you go to Eddie first, collect from Yaakov, because he was the last on the totem pole. Vain low, and if he doesn't have Gavim Mishalifanav, then he go ahead and collect from Yitzchak. If he does not, then he's going to have Vain low Gavim Mishalifanav. Then you go for two headed in front of Avram. The Afal Gav, and even though the Kam of Bainanus Mubasa Baziboris. Remember, when it comes to a creditor, creditor takes uh, Bainanus. Now, let's say Yaakov had Ziboris. He had the worst lands, and Yitzchak or Avram. And Bainanus, which he's supposed to collect from, right? In this case, he only takes the last person, even if it's inferior. The other two are unavailable to him, even though the other two were Bainanus, and this one's Zibaris, and he's supposed to be pay, paid back in Bainanus. So I forgot the comment of Bainanus, who passed over Zibaris, Zibaris, Gabi Bainanus, Logan. And even though that the first guy was Bainanus, the last one is Zibaris, he passed over Zibaris, and he's not going to have Zibaris. So what do you see over here? That when something was given away as a gift, it is unavailable. So when I gave that gift to Zebi, right, Karni Shomron, right, therefore, Elam can't touch it. It's a matana since I gave it away. So the takana there is, that's, that, that's Meshubadim. 
go find one of my Bnei Chorin lands. Mm-hmm. So the says, no, Hachamai is Kinan, the Baal Chayv. Over here, mm-hmm. those people, right, were the, the recipients of Abba and Yaakov, they were, they were the creditors. And he was giving to them because they were the creditors. That's why it wasn't a sales. That's why even though the last one, he gets uh, that land. I have a tznu come up. It says the word tznu. Tznu sounds like, you know, give a gift. It doesn't sound like, uh, you know, pay back a loan. Say so means tznu b'chayvi, right? Pay back uh, because of my obligation. So therefore you go to the last. I have looks like shar the man kadam. So let's understand. So it should go by not order of what he says the end to give pay back the land. It should go by order of who took the loan first. Whoever had a loan first, whoever had, you know, whoever lent the guy money first, he should collect first. Our right? answer is the like a star. There's no star. We don't know which which loan document was first. I will call the star Komar. It says over there, call the the star. You go. He's he's first. So the star It's not the actual star of the loans. Rather, it's referring to the star of the commands of the shchivin. Or if you say, Mafila Matana Nami, even against Matana. Also, you could say that these people really, the Adamis Yaakov were giving his gifts. The reason why Adamis was unavailable, Nami, like Kasha, my God, and Achron. What does it mean, collecting the last one first? A Nifsad El Achron. The last one, he is the one who gets the loss. What do you mean? So let's say it could be that the Balcho comes and says, okay, I want Bain in this land. Yitzhak, the Yaakov doesn't have, I'm going to Yitzhak, right? So he's allowed to do that. Maybe the matana doesn't work. And the, what does it mean? Go them in Akron. It means Yitzchak go to Yaakov and say, "Hey, give me your land because the creditor took my land and I was ahead of you on the list." So it could be the guy can go ahead and take the bainus, but he at least will get reimbursed from the last person. That's what it means. Last the totem pole, the orbi by Zema, the shavakulu adadi. Right over here, all the lands were the same. They're all the same. So therefore, there is no advantage to going to, to, to collect from the one or two. Therefore, he only goes in and collects from the third person. Fine. And Amos, you Achilles Peras, we also don't go ahead and collect. Now, let's say I sold the land to Zevi. And Zevi says, thank you so much. I'm surprised you gave me a great deal. I'm like, don't worry. You know, you're my great friend. Now, all of a sudden, it turns out I stole the land. I had no right to go ahead and sell it. Alan takes back the land, and Zevi says, um, <coughs> uh, please, my money back. So I give his money. He says, now, what about all of the, uh, you know, so now there's all the the, um, the improvements that were done, right? So my time, huh? so we, you, uh, over there, right? you can't go ahead, and you, uh, we don't go ahead and uh, take money from the improvements that were done, or, hmm. or the payments that are on the land. Hmm. Now, my time. Huh? What's the reason? Because it was not a set amount. In other words, when I, when the, the, the purchase price is known, right? That loss is going to be uh, known. So Zebi knows when he buys from me, I'm a shady character, right? So I'm buying this land for a hundred dollars, but I, I still have $500 of land. So he knows that Okay, even if this land is taken away from me, I'll be able to go ahead and collect from Yoel my hundred dollars. But Peros and Shevach, who knows how much that will be, right? So therefore, since that's not written down, he can't really prepare. So I'm really almost like Lafish and Subit. So I'm like Rabbi Abba Ula of Ha Mazan Aisha Vanos Kaman Xividami. So also says in the Mishnah, right? Not just the Shevach and the Peros, but says also the Mazan Isha, right? So if I can find the Mishnah, right? It says over there. Right? It says over there that you can't go ahead and uh, uh, collect it, right? So you can't go ahead and collect that in that case. So it is written in a star. So we know that it is. Over there in the beginning, when they made it Hakana in the Suba in general, that he should go ahead and the, 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 the marriage is over. Then the, the the mother and the daughters eat from the estate. Right? Now, as these are considered to be written in Eitz of Bnei Chayrin, and those available lands you go ahead and collect things, but if it's Meshubadim, then you cannot go ahead and collect it. Now, that was how it was set up, that even if it's Meshubadim, you can't go ahead and collect the payros. Because they're not written. I, that's like it's written in the Ksuba. 
Bektani, a mice, and now as it says, a mice from the Shabbatim. This is how the decree works. In other words, it is written down. You can go ahead and collect the Bechorin. However, and Rabbi Chanina Amar Lafish and Ketsubim. He says because they're not Ketsubim, right? Because they are not a set amount. And therefore, right, different than what we said before, that it wasn't written down and things made publicly owned, publicly known. Over here, it's that it's not a set amount. And therefore, something which is not a set amount is unavailable to go ahead and collect from. And uh, I guess uh, tomorrow the Gemara discusses this uh, further. So we'll stop over here at the Boilu. Okay. Everyone have a wonderful day. And at the Shem, tomorrow, uh, oh, tomorrow is six o'clock in Shabbos. I'm going to change my